You know, if you don't feel free, freedom is to sell. Hmm. Even with your money, you can buy freedom. You understand? When you came out, what was the first thing you did when, you know, they had acquitted you? What was the very first thing that you did? When I was acquitted from court, it was like, the Bible says it was like them that dreamt. Hmm. I dreamt, they were like, were like, <laughs> you don't know how I feel every day. <laughs> it was awesome, man. <laughs> and, you know, being locked up for a very good long time. You feel you have all your old people looking at you at the bad eye, you're a bad guy, nobody wants to know what happened. Well, I came out every day and I had to hook up everything in my music. I just laid down everything to God and in songs. Then that will keep me going there. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. How did you get involved in this case in the first place? How were you there at the time? You know, actually, you know, everybody's inching to know what happened, what the real thing happened. The same way he called, the dreamy guy was the same way he called me for a tattoo. And the normal one, you know how you can use your hands to do handcraft. You can survive by yourself. I don't want to steal, I don't want to commit crimes. I don't want to do big, I don't want to turn to the bad boys in the street. And I had to learn something I can do with my hands and act work. Okay. So he called me. I said, it's my normal tattoo guy. I do drawing tattoos. He's a customer. Okay. So he pays good work. So can I, can I? You've worked with him before? Yeah. Okay. So this is another time he was calling me for a tattoo. So I came. Come into the house. Normally, there's a difference between a friend and a customer. Mm -hmm. The friend has to intimacy together. A customer is strictly on business. After business, you go. So I came to the house and it was close no more to a sock pit. I said I should go inside and plug my tattoo machines and he's going to join me later. And I said, okay. I went inside not knowing what was going on. You know, things do happen for others to learn from their mistakes. You understand? You understand? So, I went and decided to plug the machine and and after that I went to do normal tattoo work. I went to the bathroom to pick up a bowl of water in which I could use to wash my hands after the job done. Okay. Then after that I saw a pool of blood in the bathroom. It's none of my business but it looks terrified. It looks looks surprising and I'm not so sure to sort of blood before in my life. And I had to say, it, okay, I came out. Suddenly he came out too from the room. You understand me? You know the whole story. So yeah, I just said. So he locked me down there inside the room. So I took my phone, smashed my phone, smashed and all the rest. So then I should be inside. It's none of my business to know what's going on in his house. So now the way I had to struggle out to a spoon I saw in his room and picked, and picked up his phone. I don't know the phone I picked up was the phone he used to do the transactions with the Jimmy company. Hmm. So I ran out looking for him to confide in. And I had my friend that normally is a DJ close to his residence, the Fair Heaven Hotel. So I went to that place. Going to that place to confide in him, he wasn't there. And I was. I was shaking and I was pointed a gun and you understand? So anyone in my shoes will, will be shaking. So all I had, I had to come and dash out from the hotel gate. Suddenly the cops came on me, the SAS. They were mine to SAS. They came on me, I was saying that I have something to say. They say if I should share anything, that will be dealt with. Okay, so let me get something clear. Now, in, in the video, the of course, viral video, um, while you were giving, you were answering questions from the police officers, you know, you were handcuffed to yeah. the other guy. You said he pointed a gun at you and said he was going to kill your mother. And kill me. And kill you. And, uh, you know, it, it went on from there. You, you were both answering questions. 
Mm. Now, you're saying that you left that compound. Yeah. Where did the SARS officials pick you up from? They picked me up from the ISAE gate close to the hotel. They yeah. have an hotel. Okay. That's where they picked me from. So they responded immediately? Yeah. How? I don't know because someone was in the house. Okay. It was upstairs. They was taking records that everything was going on. Okay. Since because what I let her hide that somebody was upstairs was watching him when he was doing anything was there. Mm. So that was why he acted, acted so fast. The cops came. So the person was there monitoring him all this while. All along I was at my way coming to his house, drawing the tattoos. That is it. Now we know how the story went and of course you were both locked up the court eventually you know acquitted you but your time behind bars how was the time behind bars i don't know how i'm going to explain this but if you're going to understand it because this place we are is an outside world that place is head on head you have to survive there you have to keep your sanity especially your sanity you don't have to say your sanity for anything because you have God. You have to be prayerful. This is why there are some rough and down. I saw big dead bodies everywhere sometimes. You wake up in the morning, you see your bed mate. He's been dead. The only what as we do to say the one man down. Hmm. And you're down. So that was this verse. So much, so much. I fixed some of the things, experience I had in my songs. How do, how did you yeah. did you keep the sanity you talk about? Because you say the most important thing is your sanity. H how did you manage it? Now, now you know, in prison, so many shit do happen there. So yeah, you're on radio. There you go. Language. Yeah. So many stuff do happen there in prison, and people, evil doers, and gay ass people and all the rest the facts so if you sometimes if you're unable for them you to see your people you can't even feed someone that doesn't have anything to feed they have water to drink they don't have soap to bathe you have to look for somewhere else for somebody you understand me now were you getting regular visits were, were your family members visiting for the entire time yeah yeah, come on. My mom was, she was so strong. Okay. So strong, and my family, my uncles, my aunties. God has done it. Yeah. When you told them you were innocent, your family members, did they believe you? Deep in my heart, I know no one believed me. But I believed myself, and I know God believed me. Did you ever think that you were going to overcome this particular challenge? Or were there the moments you thought, okay, this is the end, I'm going to die? Yeah, from the first day, I stepped my leg into that compound, that yard. Mm. I came affirming on the world that I'm going home. The secret of you coming out from there is not you being there. The secret of you coming out, if you keep saying it, keep saying it, you're coming. Every day, the day breaks. You keep telling to yourself that I'm going home. No matter who you are, an ATM, a CC, a lifer, a prisoner. You just keep telling yourself that you're going home. No one will encourage you. You encourage yourself. It is that place is called the school with a blackboard. A place where you are not opportuned to be there, except us. Now, this is other guy who obviously has been... Um um, sentenced to death by hanging. Were you communicating with him while uh, you were in that world, as y as you call it, or were you guys at separate points? We were in separate cells. Okay. Yeah. Did you have constant contact with him? <sighs> yeah. Sometimes now, only when you know he's my case, me, there's only one we'll go to court. Okay. You understand me? Because I still have that stigma in me that. You brought me to this place. You have the chances of telling them that I know nothing about this. But you kept it in your heart up to this day. But God knows why it happened so. You understand? 
Now, one thing that happens to a lot of people who, you know, go to prison for a while is they come up with something new. And this new might be good or bad. Mm. Uh, well, famously, we've heard of Akon who wrote songs while he was there. What is the thing that you brought from there that you didn't have before you got in? So much. Before I had no... I had no, no abilities of staying with some Torrelitans, some P kind of people. I can stay with mad people. I can stay with psychos. I can stay with... I can't get angry. Right now? Free from anger. Don't you make me get angry. Nothing on earth, even if you, you, you murdered my own best. But I can't get angry. Because anger kills so many things. Were there times where you got angry with the the, when you the get officers there? Yeah, when you get angry. That place is called the Nigerian Correctional Service. And when you get angry there, some of them are psychologists. Some do communicate with us as inmates. You understand? They do communicate with us as inmates. They sit us down and talk to us like father, like son. Really? Yeah. Nice. I compliment them for that. So I know a few of them. Yeah, some of them are good. They're good. You understand? And when you want to go wrong, when you want to go angry, you know that environment is full of anger. The atmosphere there is anger. Confusion of every kind. You understand? Different characters and different habits. I believe it's called the city of crime. City where crime laws are. You understand? But only when you go and they come as alive, you just hold God strong. Now, there was a third person in the video. You had the, the two males and the yeah. one female who they said was a girlfriend of um, the other guy. Have you heard from that lady? I know I heard from her since I was dead, till I came out. Then I just want to let low at this. Up to days, I'm sitting here. I, it's still like a dream, man. I know. It's still, it's still like a dream. Everyone looks new in my eyes. Things, go, things have changed. I feel for those that are there. I feel for those. Even for him, I feel for him. I know God one day will change him. And he's going to come out to be a changed man. This music, were you doing music before you got in? Or is, is that something that you got inspired to do while you were behind bars? No, I was doing music before I left. Okay. I was doing music. I've done a little songs. I performed live at Bona Boy Live party at mm. Prince Place. Okay. I did I had I did a show apart from that big time thriller. Uh, Isaac's family. Those kind of shows I do the top shows and uh, I went for rap battles and reason uh, yeah. My friends, knowledge. So the you know, tattoo then. thing, was that the side wh what was the side hustle, the tattoo or the music? You know, the boots was the hustle. Both. You know, in this country, we are, you have to don't put your egg in one basket. Then, uh, that's just it. And can you still, are you still good with the tattoo art not right now? Or have you forgotten, <laughs> <laughs> have you forgotten that skill? Brother, for now, I'll have to keep the tattoo. For now, for now, I'll keep it aside. And it was the music that was keeping me going in there. Okay. So that was why, and I found out that my speed in the music career has increased. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It increased, and I have so much to say. Okay. What I call it that is so much, so much. I have so much. Yes, then. So that is it. Just need to tell the world some things they don't know. Now, yeah. if you become big in music, which we're really hoping happens, um, would you want to change anything? Because I know that your experience already affects you know your content moving forward but would you have rather had it another way actually i would love to change things what down there in alabama it's called alabama city that's what they call it yeah okay country no verse anything you do don't be angry i have big dreams from that place because those people there, they need help. You want to help them? Yeah. Help. But I came out from that place. Only great men do come out from there. 
so I think I can help in one way or the other. I pledged my legion to them when I was going. And they all missed me when I was going. Naturally. All right, conversations uh, with Excel Divine Nabe. Joko Park is called. He's a music artist and he's the guy from the Jumia saga that was acquitted. Of course, we know that the High Court sentenced uh, the other guy, Mr. Sodienye, to death by hanging. And he's, uh, he shares his story of what life was like behind bars. There are many more things to talk about, really. But um, <laughs> Mr. Nabe is, um, well, just enjoying his freedom, if you may. I'm just enjoying it. Taking things easy. So, how were you able to pick up music again? Was it was it difficult, or did you just hit the ground running? Immediately you came back, you pursued that, so you decided to settle for a bit. No, the first day I went, I came into the yard. That was on April 14th. I was brought down into the yard. It looked so weird when I was there. I came into the I saw the environment. Only what you do every day is only to eat and sleep, eat okay. and sleep. It looks no, some somehow and I can't do that. No, I need to fix my mind or something so that I will not get mentally derailed because people do get mentally derailed in there. I have to know. I love music. You see me? I created in the yard uh, what they call music night. Music night. Every Saturday. Okay. Locally called Casablanca night. So that night I used the kum kum the what they call it, the can cook. Mm. With uh, this little room handmade of a pillow. So someone had to play the beat and keep saying it, keep enjoying it. So, and I just found out that in my cell, they, they, like, they like the phone and it makes them the BP patients. Some of them do like the rap joy in it. And then I see that, oh, and this music is life, actually. Okay. I kept doing it. From the 217, I came to the update. On knowing that the warders were watching me. Yeah, that's that's what I was gonna ask. Whether they, yeah. they didn't have a problem with that. No, they were watching me. So they did it a very big way, like last December they did a show in the field and so many we have so many talented men down there. So many talented men that when they come out and I don't know if we ski I know the rest we're gonna compete with them. <laughs> but these guys are good. <laughs> these guys are good. Mm. But they are behind bars. Some of them are dead troops. Some of them are lifers. Then, so they did the show and that was when when the whole yard knew that this is what I do for a living. Okay. And I increased the pitch. I was giving sometimes a live band church because they had church in there. Oh nice. I started joining the choir in the church, and singing in the church. You have a choir? Yeah, in Christ Embassy Church is inside. We have Christ Embassy Catholic and PGC. Okay. So I started going to church, like, because you need to go to church. The only answer in there is just God. With your money, you can come out. You remain there. You stand. So I kept doing it like that. Yeah. I saw that my increase in music has got into a high level. So when I came out, I asked my guy, DJ Junior, that first of all, I want to be in the studio. I need to pour out my mind. Okay. So that was when I did the first song. So I, my dream is to change things. Now, the church choir was obviously made up of inmates. Yeah. How many people were in that choir? We were like 15, 16 in the choir. Men, not just women, men. 15, 16 in the choir. You know, due to the coronavirus, yeah. they don't allow our Siberian to come inside. So we are the inmate putting upon ourselves that we need to keep this church going. So both the partner in Christ, partner with Christ Embassy, the pastor Chris, have rushed the reality, the things in the church. We use our own money to support to go take care of all these things. Your own money? Yeah. Where do you get money? It's not that they will have money in the welfare. If someone's come to visit you, okay. you they will draw money then you keep it in the welfare. Whenever you want to use it, you take all it. And you have access to it? Yeah, it's a free access. Interesting. The department in the welfare, we call it the welfare department. So who 
usually preaches at, at that church? Who's the preacher? We inmates. You preach to yourself? Yeah. Oh, really? We inmates. Sometimes I do preach too. Oh. Yeah, preach. Yeah, no one can tell me anything about the Bible. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just hold on. So, what what would your sermon be like? You know, no, what I'll tell you if you're not preaching Christ, then is you're preaching heresy, because you need to preach Christ. Christ is the only thing. Now, I imagine that a big message there would be, you know, freedom. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get out of here. You're gonna make it. Most yeah. people were looking forward to getting out of there. Did you meet anyone there who? was not necessarily looking forward to going out. They just knew that life was going to be okay, but freedom was not a part of your journey. Did you meet such a person there? Yeah. Many of that kind are there. They didn't want to go out? Those ones, that was, they just don't want to go out from the jail. They just, it's like they are, the hopes are lost that they are to be there as their home. They live as if they are their home. You understand? And whenever they are there, they don't look so like someone is anxious to go out from that place. Mm. They feel comfortable, and in prison you must not be comfortable. Why? You can't be comfortable. Not to make you comfortable. That is why it's called prison. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, I believe you. Yeah, because, <laughs> you if, because if you're comfortable, mm. you're not going to learn your lessons. You need to be uncomfortable. Okay. You understand? So, um, to buy the way in. You know the way you watch it at uh, uh, prison break. The movies, yeah, yeah. Is that exactly that's what happened in there? They have the big boys. They have the big boys in town there. They have the you have the grade one, grade two, grade three. What grade did you belong to? I would belong to the they call it Corridor Corner Post. What? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> that's a funny title. What? What were you guys known for? We are known for. We are not rich. We are poor. Okay. We just okay. Yes, then we, we are represented. We represent everywhere. Yes, I mean, in outfit and everywhere, you can keep yourself clean. In outfit? Yeah. What did you need to do to be a part of grade one? You need to have the Benjamins. Oh, really? Yeah. You need to, you need to be more influential in the ad. Okay. You know what I mean? And you need to be close to, to the DC, to the new boys, yeah. So h how many prisoners made up grade one? Do you have a lot of people or just a few people? Just a few, it's uncountable. It's uncountable. Because the yard is very big. Mm. And then it's very big. Now, someone with money in there, what what could your currency get you with money? What buy anything there. So no need of money. You just have to keep your money except you want to go to church, you need some offering. Offering in church? Yeah. Okay. Use the offering to help ourselves. Yes, and sometimes they might give an, an in the church, like announcing, saying someone is on bail. Mm. 5,000, then the church might take from the church post. Oh, nice. To pay. Nice. So, yeah. So that's it. All right. Uh, we'll take a break. Coming up next, we'll be speaking about his music career. It's Joko Parts in the studio with me. Our government name is Excel Divine Nabe. He is the man who made it out of a justice system that looked like it was designed to keep him in. Don't go anywhere.
interview with uh, Joker Parks, the music artist who made it out. That's basically how I would define him. Of course, he was acquitted, the acquitted defendant who shares his story and the Jumia delivery saga. We're joined by DJ Juno, the guy he met when he came out uh, to relaunch his music career. Hello, DJ. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. All right. So, uh, did you know him before the incident or after? No, no way back. Way back. Yeah, from secondary school. So he's your boy. <laughs> he's my man, not my boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, not my boy. Were there times where you thought that he did it? Because uh, of course he's been maintaining his innocence ever since. But all through telling you, ah, DJ, I know Duam, I know Duam. Did you believe him? We know. I know he did not do it because I know at some point what he can do because he has been living with me all this while. So we've been together. Okay. So I know. To, to extend what he can do and what he can and you were certain yeah i was certain like we n- not just me like almost everybody who knew him knew ah joker joker no fee do this thing okay we know not extend joker if do no ah joker no fee do so how did he make you feel because he was there for you know three years plus how do you make you feel having to go see your friend in a place where you know he doesn't belong at the point uh, the fear I said I wouldn't allow you to go there because the case was critical. So at one point we weren't going there. Okay. So at some point the whole thing was like cool, so we started going back, like check up on him and okay. all the rest. But it was almost the time of his release. So we started popping up the social media thing so people could just uh, they are here and then because most times by the time you put it up that we are we are media age put it up on the social media you have a lot of people comment and then judges will just pop on it and then screw and then see ah this person with a lot of this comment and actually help now he met you that he wanted to relaunch his music career how did you respond to it? i already knew this is like a it's like, it's like god's plan because everything has already been there like <laughs> it's not like to pack check or oh really or for prison, <laughs> like, hey, or, there's or problem to play. <laughs> there <laughs> is problem okay so, so let's hear what Joker Parts music sounds like, and of course, uh, we take some calls. Don't go anywhere. Police, Another bite, the shot, mother rock. Broke a panta on a mineral. Black or white, but they be the different tell me to come from me, Joma. Just rock up, dip the number. Tim Ballet, Ballet, not just waste time for their Ballet, Ballet. DJ put the button to play the model and be one jello off, but the bad eye, the song tight, the song sight, the song road, and the cut the cut breathing took a part to die. Good punch, land the make war dress to mad. Whenever I carry music nights, people put the shot check. Lair road, body for Jada money. We do German, but the mind you get lawyer. No, you died, me one, be two, you should pass up. That day, the good day. For Harley, done a case. Remember, teachers face a cage. We want a prison, but she got a cage. On that day, the fuck a cook day, yo. For Harley, done a case. Remember, teachers for a cage. We want a prison, but she got a cage. On that day. Wait till you have Wait till you have Wait till you have I'm up in my to the seven to seventeen. From the cushion road close to the border for beat. I sit down with a pop man. The sea from bars finish. I try to locate a bookie shop. Five knock, six knock, seven knock, eight knock, nine knock, ten knock. Yeah. Five lap, sass people the bounce out. You answer your head if it's talk, you wire down. I sleep with hack off, but for three weeks. Shit for but the peace for the one week. Pujinka to come out, it do easy. Pujinka to come out, it do easy. God bless the day I came out for prison. Hungry day, boys and girls, next the reason. Tears through my eyes, I complain my legion. It focuses on witchcraft. They can't they can't sleep us. Why did they lie? I can't believe me, no victory, no battle, no crown on these days, eight days, the whole sea's round, so cheers like a mouse, like sleep is scared, I'm fast, work. No underwrite and everybody, what you say? Good day, the perfect good day, for calling down the gates, remember teachers face the cage, we want a prison, but sit down a cage, on that day, the perfect good day, yo, 
for calling the bad case. Remember Jesus for one cage. We all are prisoners in our cage. On a dark day, they never could day. For calling the bad case. Remember Jesus for your cage. We all are prisoners in our cage. On a dark day, they never could day. For calling the bad case. Remember Jesus for one cage. We all are prisoners in our cage. On a dark day. That's M27 2017, of course, it uh, reflects a date that our guest here uh, started his journey this is the through this particular phase of his life. Joko Pat, bro, listening to this song, how does it make you feel? Because you created it. It makes me feel Makes me feel good. Oh, really? Makes me feel good. It remind me of where I was for the past four years. While I was playing, you had your eyes closed. <laughs> like you were dreaming. <laughs> I was I looking at you while the song yeah, was playing, and I was I like, I just remember where I came out from. Mm. Because most of the lyrics I used was from the less privilege I got that from. Yeah. Had a couple of slangs there. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't yeah. get everything, I must yeah, admit. Yeah, but yeah. just listening, you, you kind of catch the story. Yeah. So what's the plan moving forward? Uh, DJ, you were saying something about an EP. Um, of course, this is the first time anybody's hearing this song. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's debuting uh, on this platform for the very first time. Yeah. So what's the plan, Joke Apart? What do you intend doing from this moment moving forward? You know, I came out. I lost I lost everything, man. I just need to start up again. I just need, I need to start up again. I need the music career because I know I'm going to make a real good okay. from it. Because... I have people that have trained in this music career. They are up to the level you are now. Okay. Some of them can hear me as I speak. Is I don't want to mention names. <laughs> they are big boys in town, but I am as now as I just want to start up. Organizing my EP is coming out very soon. Nice. It's coming Great. out very soon, and she does look at the world, do the world. She does look out for that. Now you're on his team, and you help put this song together. Is it easy working with him? Or are there challenges? Don't, don't, don't answer. Don't, because he's here, don't say, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just tell us the truth. He, is he a difficult person to work with in the studio? The only problem with Joker Part is <laughs> putting it down is a problem. He's a freestyle artist. Oh, really? So I had to, like, oh boy, write this thing down. We need it word by word. People got to hear this stuff. Okay. No, 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 I don't need it. He'll, he'll just tell you on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> he has four years worth of lyrics. <laughs> he wants to say everything. <laughs> we'll have something we want people to hear. It's called Corridor. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you get to be a part of the conversation now. 0817 0817-923-0003. 0817-923-0003. 0817-923-0007. Of course, WhatsApp is 0809030616. Please turn off your radio. As you call us, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Morning. I just want to ask there's a when you're asking the second guy, say, we know we know what you feed do. So if not the other one no feed them. So may he hit us a little bit what that one way if he do. Thank you. <laughs> I think I get the question. I don't, I don't get it. She was like I was like very sure Joker can uh, Joker Park can't do the killing stuff that what uh, let me clear the air. Like I know him to be a tattoo artist and a rap. The only murderer uh, when it comes to it is when you give him a mic. Oh really? Yes, that's when he do that. That's the one he can murder. Yes. Oh, okay. Hello. 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 Hello yeah. Good morning. Good morning. My name is John. Calling for D Go ahead, John. Yeah. One thing I noticed is that uh, he already said it all. Oh, yeah, I should try to speak out. Did he? Why? Why you sitting in the studio? Really take up of what is what is said. He tried to speak out so that people can hear him. Even in his music, and trying to get one of these things from the music, I couldn't get anything. He tried to speak up. Okay. Speak up. That is my honor. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Sir. Good morning. Am I speaking with Nigeria? So? Yes, you are. Go ahead. Okay, sir. I thank God for the life of that brother that God has set free. Actually, it's God that set you free. Mm. So I have of his story as he was saying it. And I I had when he was saying 
find that uh, in the prison there, they were planning to touch programs, maybe within the prison. Mm. He thought uh, that's fellowship. Yeah. And now, God has brought him out. What I think, and what I expect from him, is that now that God has brought him out, what he's supposed to do, the kind of mix he should release, is the one that will encourage the life of people to draw close to God. You understand me? I'm not trying to criticize him. The type of music and like the word that he was saying, all the all his testimonies that was bouncing on the goodness of God that brought him out. You know, he should be able to present his music to testify to people, to build the heart of people towards God. Um I understand I understand your position, but his experience and his person would choose how he wants to share his story. D don't you think? Don't you think that he would want to share his story the way he best... Anyways, thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello, Sam. Good morning. Good morning. I would like him to tell us, mm. because the story is in Congress, when he says that he came in and the guy told him, go into the room and wait. Then while he was waiting, he went into the bathroom. That's what I had. Yeah. You understand? Mm. <laughs> then he did not tell us how he came out and all that, that he saw blood, then he took a phone that did not belong to him. You know, we would like him to continue that story perfectly well. Let us know how it is that he was arrested near that house in a hotel. You understand? Why did he take a phone that does not belong to him? Why he was arrested near that particular house? Why did he not go straight to the house? That's my question. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, call back if you can. We're still taking your thoughts. Why the young man was arrested in the first place, someone is asking. Ask your guest, what's the age bracket of folks in there? Can he say the inmates were mostly children of wealthy? I love his music. Good morning, Sam. I thank God for Divine. The only thing he really needs to do is to hold God. Uh, very strongly even in his music and Kelly from Port Harcourt says I share in the joy of that guy that just returned from high college aka correctional center I learned many things from the interview we all need to be careful I wish him the best in his endeavor good morning hello son good morning good morning I'm Uchan calling from America Your head chair. yes I thank God for that young man's life after he sharing with him to his story and all that. But I would urge him also to advise the guys that do come around him. You should be careful. Mm. Also, I would also like him to, just like the, the other caller said, mm. the, his next album should be his, from his experience also. Okay. That's my contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm happy you got out. I love your music. If you've been there, you will understand his story. So, Joker. People say that you should dedicate a major part of what you have in you as regards music to God. Do you have those plans? Yeah. You want to tell us about it? No, actually, the song you first hear, you just let me call it a sample size. Okay. I have a big thing for God because I had a vision in India that I should, I should use the talent God gave me to praise Him. Okay. Uh, what the vision came to me. Mm. So, I was the one that was inside there. And I know what I went through there. So I'm not going to come out and forgot where I came from. I have victims for God. Does everybody in there believe in God? Is there any one or two persons that you came across that did not share your belief in God? Yeah. You do have white men there that believe in orthodox. Okay. Understand? We have some Muslims. We have the the Judaism there. We have, we have Christians like us. Yeah, well, they they all believe in other religions. They all believe yeah. in uh, the existence of a God. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's the artist, the tattoo artist. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm very happy for you. When you were arrested, I heard the story. There's a guy I know, one musician, Sean. Mr. Sean, you should know him. Yeah. 
he, he drew uh, Sean's tattoo. And, and Sean was really telling me, guys, so I don't think this guy did this. This guy is the clean guy. This guy is the tattoo artist. He showed me one or two pictures of him. The both of them took together. He showed me one or two pictures they did um, in the studio. Oh, wow, guy, I'm really happy for you. Seriously, I, I was shocked because other people knew he didn't do it. Although I got the story very late, I didn't get the clear, the clear story. But when I heard that is the tattoo artist, I'm very happy for the guy. Mm -hmm. The guy, you do your music, I like your music, but um, don't don't just do the cut and you are doing what people are saying. Do your music based on what your inspiration kicks you to do. People will still like your music. I like the music although it needs to be audible. You know, let us hear the lyrics very clearly. Do 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 your thing, not just because of God or anything. You are out and you are out. Motivate us. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. All right. Thank you very much. Good morning. Hello, morning. Morning. Yeah, I want to congratulate the uh, young man there for his freedom. And uh, the truth is, of the matter is that uh, not everybody can reach out to God like Father uh, Pastor Paul or Frank Edwards. You can only reach out to God in your own way as long as you are doing what you're doing within the confines of the law. As long as you don't go against the law, you're good. So I want to encourage you to do your thing, be real. And I want to also find out if there was any compensation given to him. I haven't been incarcerated for unjustly. Is there yeah. any compensation given to him? Mm. Thank you. All right. So, um, one of the earlier questions on um, WhatsApp, what's the age range of people there? How young or old the uh, majority of the inmates? They have young, they have old. We have about 4,000 something inmates. Okay. The same way. In itself size of this room like 45 people will be in there in this room 45 45 people will be in there some will stand and sleep some will sit and sleep some will pray so that three will do the hour of 3 a.m. so that they can find somewhere and leave their head some will sleep in the lavatory lavatory is called the toilet. Yeah, I know that. Why Why do they have space at 3 a.m. and they don't have it before then? Because you have to stand up for the one to sleep. Oh, they're like run shifts. Yeah. How do you sleep standing? When you've been there, you know how they look like. <laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect answer to that question. <laughs> okay. So I, I was going to talk about the compensation. Uh, you've been acquitted. Obviously, uh, the court clearly stated that you are not guilty. Uh, has there been any conversation around compensation by state? No. Finally, what I want to say in the aspect is just that God has finally brought me out. I came out. You understand me? I came out and I just want the government to just, I just want to let loose, just let leave everything for God. Leave everything on to God. So you don't intend to pursue anything in that regard? No, no. No, no. Okay. Now, besides your music, another thing you said is you would really like to help people that are still behind bars. Yeah. How do you think about this? I know God has started His good work in me. He gave me the power and the knowledge to accomplish it. Okay. Because I know the very night I went for that place for the purpose. Uh, time is never enough. Uh, Joker, thank you very much for making the time. I will still have messages here. Joker has always and will be a clean guy. We're set to support him all the way. Lucky Chu from Rumi Bo. So you have more songs coming up. Do you have a date for the release of the EP? You said an EP is coming. Uh, for now, for now, I'll update. I'll well, update. Well, the okay. Okay. Yeah, because finally I want to give a shout out to Wonder Bonten that came out for me. They came out on the band team, came out for me. And give a shout out to Young Ed. Young ND. Young ND. They all tried for me, man. I appreciate. I'm trying to put out code specials. Put out code specials. They all tried. With my followers on media. I appreciate, man. And again, I'll give a shout out to Pastor Chris. You're killing me. For the rapture of reality. Because after the praying in tongues, and he said, you keep saying it. There's power in your tongue. So you keep saying it. And I keep saying it in court that very day. Keep my feminine on the word. And it came to pass. 
That's it. Great. How's your mom? She's good. She's like carrying me up and jumping me <laughs> everywhere, like <laughs> eating me <laughs> up and all the rest. <laughs> you know, she's been a long while she saw her only son. Yeah. Instead. But my going in there brought a union on the family. I can imagine. Of course, you can describe how they feel. It's yeah. it's it's not something you can explain. It can only be experienced. Yeah. Well, Joker, are you on social media? Yeah, I'm on social media. Okay. You want to share your handle? A Joker part. Yeah. A Joker part. How do you spell that? P J O K A P A R T. Okay. So people can go there and connect with you. Yeah. Yeah. DJ, are you on social media? Yeah. At DJ Juno, you know. DJ what? At DJ Juno, you know. J U N O. You know. Thank you, gentlemen, for making the time. Yeah. Jack, I wish you only the best moving ahead. I'm glad that you found freedom uh, with this particular system. Yeah. So I'm hoping that you experience only success ahead. Yeah, I'm just hoping too that the, mean that the masses, yeah, will find a way to help one way or the other so I can just start up something up okay that's it I appreciate it alright have a wonderful day yep well the morning press fire ends here uh, thanks for being a part of it of course 10 o'clock brings the news and the midday dialogue with Jude connect with us at Nigeria Info PH on all platforms and with me at Sparkling Oracle see you tomorrow